Today's Gospel, Thursday, November 12, is from St. Luke, chapter 17, verses 20 to 25. Asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, Jesus said in reply, The coming of the kingdom of God cannot be observed, and no one will announce, Look, here it is, or there it is. For behold, the kingdom of God is among you. Then he said to his disciples, The days will come when you will long to see one of the days of the Son of Man, but you will not see it. There will be those who will say to you, Look, there he is, or look, here he is. Do not go off, do not run in pursuit. For just as lightning flashes and lights up the sky from one side to the other, so will the Son of Man be in his day. But first, he must suffer greatly and be rejected by this generation. The Gospel of the Lord Today's Faith Food Reflection is from Sister Pebbles Puyat. What is the meaning of the kingdom of God? For me, it means our hope, our life, the fullness of our life, God's kingship, God's reign, heaven, the fulfillment on earth of God's will whenever you are under His Lordship. Even John the Baptist Use the kingdom to exhort people to repentance. Repent, for the kingdom of God is near. In the Lord's Prayer, Your kingdom come. And in the Last Supper, Jesus said, I will not drink again of the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it anew in the kingdom of God. In the movie The Chosen, Jesus says to Nicodemus, A sort of kingdom that they cannot see must be reborn to new life, the kingdom not of this world. The kingdom is when Jesus saves and restores us through the grace of God, and when we accept Jesus and fully give ourselves to Him, they will see in us the kalooban ng Dios. His kingdom is among us. Let us pray. Lord, fill my life with love and forgiveness. Let me not be afraid. Transform me, and with your grace and guidance, let me always hold on to you forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.